guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am using Basic Gray's Sunkiss collection. And if you saw at the beginning, I am using a sketch that I had found on Pinterest. And it was from uh, Get It Scrapped, I believe, or Debbie Hodge's website. Right here I am looking through the 6x6 paper pad to find some papers. I'm going to cut out some flowers using the dies that came with the Big Shot. There are some flower dies. This is the first time I've used those. So in the first flower I made, I just kind of bent it up with my fingers. And with the second one, I kind of broke the fibers in the paper with my pokey tool. The um, edge of the pokey tool cover. Right there, I had taken some of the packaging, cardboard packaging, what um, you might get when you receive an order from scrapbook.com or whatever to keep the paper straight. It's kind of a thicker card stock. And I just doubled it up to use to raise that second layer of the flyer because the foam tape was a little too thick. And just one single layer of card stock would be too thin. I wanted it to be a little raised. In the center of the flowers, I'm using homemade enamel dots out of perler beads in yellow. And this is the second flower, the one that had that I used the end of my tool to curl up the edges. I am using Scotch quick dry adhesive to glue these flowers together and in the end I do end up making four and I only end up using three but I wanted I figured I would only use three but I wanted to make four just in case they missed any of them up they're cute it's the first time I've made them they're really actually quite cute I might make some more out of a different pattern paper this is the second layout I've done with this basic gray sunkiss collection and in my previous video, I said I can't remember when I bought it or if I bought it from one of the sale sites or whatnot or how long I, even I've had it. I'm not in love with it anymore, but I am going to use it because I, I hate to waste stuff. So this paper or cardstock I'm putting on it is a cream color and it came in my February 2016 Scraptastic kit. I hadn't didn't use it with my kit so I used it on this layout the pictures I'm scrapbooking are pictures of two woodpeckers when I went outside one morning this was in 2010 and this is the first and only time I've seen this there were two woodpeckers making a racket on the tree out front and I hadn't I've heard them before but I had never seen them and this is the first time I've actually seen them and in some of the pictures you can see they look really foggy and that's because it was June in Savannah <laughs> or near Savannah so it was very hot so when I walked, went outside with my camera the, my lens fogged up so some of the pictures are not great but that's okay and I still hear woodpeckers from time to time but I still have never seen any these were the only two I've ever seen and I ended up titling it Woodpecker Brothers which obviously I don't know if they're two boys, but that's what we're calling them. So I'm going to go ahead and back the photos on this pink paper. All the papers are from the Basic Gray Sunkiss collection, and this is a pink paper with script. And I back all three papers in it. This is kind of a grid layout, only maybe not particularly straight grid. Even though I did use a T-square ruler to try and get it straight, you know, I have a hard time doing stuff straight. The letters I am using for Woodpecker are those Prima letters from the Ladybird collection I had gotten from Tuesday morning. And the letters I use for Brothers are from the sticker sheet that came with the Basic Gray Sunkiss collection pack. And I am just using my ATG to put down the pictures. This sketch called for two strips over to the left of the pictures and I cut both of those out of 
12 by 12 papers that are were part of the Sunkissed collection pack. So I had to actually cut into papers just to get these two little strips. <laughs> right here I am making little thread nests. I had made a couple off camera, you know, trying to make my video a little faster. And I'm like, well, I hear people ask other people, how do you do that? How do you do that? So I thought, well, maybe I should make it on camera. So I made one on camera. I, I might, it might end up being two that I made on camera, but I know at least this one I did on camera. And I don't like my thread nests to be particularly messy. I like them to be rather neat. So I don't, I mean, I, I can imagine how you make a messy one. I just don't like mine messy. So if you want to know how to make a messy one, I can maybe attempt to try to do one, but I don't know. That what I just had put down over the bottom of the picture said capture this moment. That is a sticker that came off the sticker sheet from the collection kit and I put it on a piece of green paper that was in the 6x6 paper pad and just cut it out. The yellow picture or the yellow stickers I used right there it just says life on McGregor Circle. That's the road we live on because that's where the hummingbirds, or the hummingbirds, the woodpeckers were. And that green arrow is from the ephemera pack. From the Sankist collection. See, there's kind of an awkward gap down the center between those two pictures. I did never did do anything to fix that. It's just gonna stay awkward. I maybe should have put some paper in between there to make it look like it was matted or something. I don't know. It doesn't look bad to me. It's kind of cute. Those little wood, those little woodpeckers are cute too, and I love those flowers. Those flowers are really cute. So I'm gonna put down that sticker with that. I backed on that green paper. I put it on foam tape. It says capture this moment. There is some thread under the left of the sticker. And here's where I'm going to go ahead and put down one of those. I didn't have enough green, so I went ahead and smashed green all, or smushed green all around the edges and onto this piece of paper. And I didn't have any water on my desk, so I just kind of licked my finger. <laughs> Made the gelato wet. So. I didn't have any water. I could have used my root beer. I didn't. You spit. That's going to be my second strip. And it is pink and yellow. With some of that gray in it. It's cute. They have, this collection has some nice colors, but there are a lot of interesting very maybe naturely like type patterns I was gonna try and use that um, circle vellum piece it didn't work so I took it off I'm just gonna put that flower there with that thread that is that hot glue gun that I had gotten a while back a little while ago and it's it's a high temp one and so it like leaks out the top of it I have a couple other hot glue guns they're medium temperature so they don't really get very goopy and I'm wondering if maybe I might prefer them not to get that goopy because this will just run out all over that plate so really I'm wasting goose glue sticks not that they're expensive I mean they're very cheap but So there are my three flowers. They are so cute. I love those things. That is a house. It is a wood veneer. And it is a dark brown. I don't know where it came from. I got it out of my wood veneer box. I think I might have picked it up at Tuesday morning. And it might be from the close knit connection. Or collection. I'm putting beside it some homemade enamel dots in pink and yellow. 
I'm trying to use that dark brown flower wood veneer and it's not going to end up making it. That dark brown dot I just put down, that is from My Mind's Eye Necessities. I like those a lot too. I have several packs of those. When my scraps and more were going out of business, I think I might have bought like three packs of those because they were 60% oh, Actually, I think I got them when they were 50% off. So it still wasn't really cheap. They're still like $2.50 a pack, but yeah, whatever. I like them. Now, I did not put even one little single bread on this layout, so there. I'm going to stick that yellow homemade one up underneath that thread that is by that sticker. I'll, ca I'll capture this moment. I'm going to put a brown one and a pink one up to the right of Woodpecker. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I was just rubbing that picture. I had gotten something on the picture. I might need to replace it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I'm writing a date, June 17th, 2010. And that is all I do. So thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>